Oftentimes in teaching, teachers say, oh, I don't think of my students in terms of their race or ethnicity. I'm colorblind when it comes to my teaching to my students. Culturally relevant instruction rejects the idea of colorblindness and instead says, I see my students, I see their race, I see their culture, I see their identities, and my teaching, my instruction changes because of it. Sometimes when we're doing an activity in class or reading a book or talking about history, issues about race come up. For example, one time I was reading the book Sugar to my student. In one of the pages, it says his thick soled shoes compared to her thin soled shoes. And I asked the students, what do you think the author means by thick soled and thin soled? What do you think the author was trying to say about the characters? Here I thought I was asking an inferring question when one of my students responded, he has thick soled shoes because he's white. The other girl has thin soled shoes because she's black. Another student said, no, no, no. His shoes are thick soled because he's rich and her shoes are thin soled because she's poor. To which the first student responded, same difference. In this moment, you have an opportunity to discuss and talk about race and injustice, or you have the opportunity to overlook and pass off comments. When we choose to ignore comments that students make about race or ignore questions that students ask about racial issues, we are not choosing to be neutral in this conversation. Instead, we are unknowingly teaching students a lesson, a lesson that race is something we do not talk about. Oftentimes teachers choose to ignore comments or pass over comments about race quickly because they feel vulnerable. They think, maybe I don't know enough about the issues that the student's talking about here. Or am I even allowed to discuss this topic in class? Or am I also allowed to lead a discussion on something that I'm not that knowledgeable about? But this is a huge disservice to your students. Talking about race is really important in our classrooms if we want to leverage social justice in our communities. You as a teacher have a lot of strengths that you can build off of. You have a good rapport with your students you have a pure heart, you have good intentions of helping the world to become a more just place. But there's also some needs that you might have as a teacher, like how do you set clear ground rules or how do you get ready and be prepared for conversations like this? The next few minutes in this video are gonna show you some strategies that you can use when approaching difficult topics about race. When entering into conversations about race, it's important to take a moment to stop and set the stage. Even when these conversations arise unknowingly, I stop the conversation for a brief moment to let the students know the sensitivity of the issues that we're discussing. I also affirm the maturity, letting them know that this is an important conversation about social justice and that I know that they are mature enough to handle it. Finally, I lay out some ground rules about the conversation. Like we are gonna have a hard conversation about difficult topics. And this is why it's important to talk about this issue. In addition, I let them know that everyone's entitled to their opinion and how to listen respectfully and disagree respectfully with each other. If students are to have intellectual conversations about race and issues that surround race, it's important for them to understand the vocabulary needed to have those conversations. This tree is an example of an activity that I do with my students so they can understand the different words and how they relate to racism. I developed the following model to help me navigate difficult conversations, especially those pertaining to race. First, I always listen to what the student is saying. I try to restate their experiences using words such as, I hear you saying blank, is that correct? Or I hear you asking, is that correct? Next, I validate the student's experience by empathizing with their feelings or connecting with their experience. 
If the student is discussing an experience that I don't know much about, I ask them questions and I admit that this is a topic that I don't have that much information about. Next, I value the student's funds of knowledge. All the students have experiences and understandings of things particular to their culture, race, or background, and I affirm them for having this knowledge. Last, I help the students to reflect on their experiences or to evaluate these experiences looking for examples of social justice or injustice. So going back to my conversation about the book Sugar and how one student said that the character had thick soled shoes because he was white and therefore rich and the other character had thin soled shoes because she was black and therefore poor, I could use this model to help navigate that conversation. First, I would tell the students, I hear what you're saying. Are you saying that black people are generally poor and white people are generally rich? And I would validate their experience by saying, thank you so much for sharing your opinion and perspective with me. I might admit, you know what? I don't know a lot about that. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you feel that way? And after a student shared their experiences and examples that led them to that conclusion, I would thank them for sharing those experiences and examples that they are familiar with. And finally, I would help them reflect on their perspective. And I might ask them a question like, do you think it's fair that one can predict a person's income level based on their skin color? What can we do as a society to help make sure that race or skin color is not a predictor of wealth. Though talking about race in the classroom can be challenging, there are so many benefits to talking about race and racial issues with your students. Many students already have an understanding of their race and some have negative internalized images about their race. These negative images are promoted by the larger society and affect the way students perform in school also affects the way students feel about themselves and others whose races differ from their own. Schools have a unique position to help students to interrupt and to interpret this imagery through their curriculum, the lessons they teach, and the discussions they have with students in their classroom. When teachers help students navigate difficult conversations about race, teachers show students I see you. I see your culture, your background, your experiences. I acknowledge your questions and the things that you're curious about. I validate and affirm your cultural experiences and your observations about the world. And I'm helping you to understand and reflect on those experiences so together we can create a more just world.